Hi everybody, this is Ages, and today I want to go over a old trick, but a good trick. So, with the new hard mode and the hardcore system, uh, we get an increased amount of invasions that come to our base. And I have actually now tested this out with every single invasion that the game has thrown at me so far. So, what you want to do is, you want to find an elder spawn, and then you want to dig a base underneath of it. But you must remember, do not dig away all the ground from underneath the platform. You want the platform to still be clipping into the base. And you must remember to make a place for your smoke to come out. You can see some smoke coming out on that side. And there is smoke coming out of here as well. Hence the hole. And be careful not to make too big of a hole like I did over here and one over there but let me show you what you can actually do underneath and when these invasions do spawn because there's no light sources or anything onto the structure they don't even attack it they just like run around so as you can see the gate is slightly sunk into the ground and I can get in and out no hassles so, you want to keep that closed, you can design that however you want to. And then I've made stairs going down so that I don't take any fall damage. As you can see, I have my workbenches down here, fully upgraded. That's all up number seven with all the different necessities. Here is my charcoal maker. Here's my ore smelter. Here's my bedroom. I haven't claimed this bed yet. But as you can see, I've even got managed to get a comfort of 13, thanks to the bath and my throne, with a light source that allows me to get the rest bonus. And to fight the smoke, as you remember, I've got these little holes at the top there. Okay, you can't see them too nicely. There we go, with my mouse cursor is aiming. You want to just build some railings. You can either use poles, which I'll show you, which I did just now, or you can use these little half walls. It looks very nice and controls 90% of the smoke. You'll never catch all of it, but 90% of it, good job. Here's my storage area, and I have space for more. So I can put some more this side if I want to, or I can put some there. Or I can even make an additional row. There's so much space to be had. Here's my little kitchen area. As you can see, I did the same trick. And there's my little smoke, all being caught by my little wooden building here. This one isn't quite catching yet, but you can easily just extend that by what? Like just two pieces, and then it that's sorted out but as you can see I don't even get smoke ventilation in here but my nice little cooking area cooking pots are fully upgraded and then I've got my cooking chest the way I did that was I took a little wooden pole you can either use the one one more or the two more and then you just take a wooden floor and you snap it just in the middle. As you can see, I've got a nice stack of four chests. I can go higher if I wanted to, or I can go a bit further out. But right now, for me, that is perfect. It's all I need. And then for the center pole, you can't delete that top piece, right? So I decided, let me finish it off to the ground and add a little bit of decoration to it. So I've got my wolf, circling, and boar skulls all placed onto it which just adds a bit of that lived in feel so i hope you guys enjoyed my underground base with plenty of room for improvement and yeah like i said it's an old trick but it's a good trick and it still works to this day thank you guys for watching and i hope you enjoyed the video